Today, we're going to teach you how to make this dynamic text animation intro. Hey everyone, welcome to Filmora MVP channel. Here we teach you editing tricks, filmmaking, and camera techniques. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get the latest updates. Before we start editing, click the download link in the description box. Click on the free download option. Now, a Filmora installer is downloaded automatically. Just double click on it, agree with the terms, and here you go. Filmora started to download and install. Once it's installed, it'll start and run automatically. First step is to go for the Titles tab. Drop a default title on track 2. Double click on it and change the font to Agency FB Black or any bold font you like. Then enter your text, find text spacing, and increase by 8. Take a snapshot of the text. Again, double click on the default title, change the text to single letter I, and take a snapshot again. Now, delete the text clip from the timeline, drop the Filmora snapshot on track 2, and drop the I snapshot on track 3. Find the zoom option right below the preview window and change the zoom level to 50%. Double click on I snapshot to bring out the animation section where we can adjust its position right below the first letter F by changing the parameter of X and Y axis to setup. Now take the playhead 1 second and 15 frames further and change the Y axis value to 0. Now copy it and paste the track 4. Paste the playhead at the starting point, double click on it, and change the X axis position to letter M. Click on the second keyframe and change the value of the X axis as you like. Again, copy the I snapshot and paste it on track 5. Put the playhead at the starting point, double click on it, and change the X axis position. Make sure that I letter is exactly below R. Meanwhile, keep the Y axis to 0. Go to the second keyframe, change X axis to 195, and Y axis value to negative 130. Last, we need to copy and paste it again on track 6. Click on the second keyframe, define its position on letter L, and change Y axis to 130. Then go to the first keyframe and change the value of the X axis. Place the playhead one second further, add a blank keyframe, now place the playhead at 3 seconds and 15th frame and change the Y axis to 0. Do the same with the track 5 clip. Check out the title clip. Export it at a higher rate if it's okay. Last but not least, we need to add some elements to make the title more cinematic. Let's delete all the files from the timeline and import the text video clip we created. Drop it on track 2 and drop any background video clip you like on track 1. Double click on track 2 clip and decrease the scale to 80%. Place the playhead at the end and change the scale to 110%. Go to the video tab, find the blending mode option and choose lighten. Then shift the clip to track 3. Search Dark Filters under Effect tab and apply Dark Film Effect on the background clip. Then search for Blur Effect and apply Square Blur on track 2 and change the size to 4. Then apply the Cinematic Bar on track 4 and change the border height to 0.10. Now let's see the final preview. That's it! Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then give this video a thumbs up. Plus, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon, but don't leave without sharing this video, and leave your comment below. Bye!